Everything is ready. She's here. Hello. Welcome. Please have a seat. I'm Robert Bays. This is Rachel Harris. We're going to be here for a while. Care for some coffee? I'm okay. Thank you. As you know, Miss Harris is one of the top book writers in the country. She will be very specific about her questions. Please respond with the most accurate information you have. So you're claiming to know the story about the Hagen family? Yes. Do you have any valuable sources to collaborate to your story? Because I don't play games. And if you're here just for the money, you can go somewhere else. I'm not here for the money. I'm just here to share the story. Okay, then start. From where? From the very beginning. It all started after Cindy's mother passed away. And how did the mother pass away? One year before her death, she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Richard and his kids were devastated by their loss. He was depressed for a pretty long time. Two years passed and he figured that Cindy and Tommy needed him to get back up on his feet. So he found a new love and decided to move on. What are you thinking about? I'm so happy we finally got our own place. It's small, but we can do whatever we want now. Yeah, but I was thinking, wouldn't you get lonely? I mean, the kids are gone so fast and... I think it's time to put that baby maker to use. <laughs> really? You already have two kids of your own. I have two of my own. I want one with you. I know, I'm... I'm their stepmom. I'm fine with what we have. Stepmother, soon to be their mother. But seriously though, I hope she doesn't think I'm replacing her mom. She's not gonna think you're taking over for her mom. I'm sure she just misses her. We all do. I guess summer vacation's almost over. My mom's already asking when we're gonna go pick him up. Oh, we have to go school shopping for the kids and Tommy said he needs a new backpack. What? Honey, we're already over budget for the house as it is. We can afford a backpack. Turn this up, I don't wanna miss this part. It's my favorite part. Tell me about the house. They bought this house without knowing the background of it. And I don't know. There's just something really strange about that house. This place needs a paint job. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do with that piano? I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it. I mean, Cindy will make good use of this. No, it's a waste of space. Just put it in the shed. But right now, first things first. Clean up this mess. Yes, let's do this. Here's my story, it's sad but true.
This is our fifth night, honey. You picked the perfect house. I just can't believe they sold it to me for so cheap. <laughs> I can't wait for the kids to see it. I can't wait for the kids to tear it apart more than it already is. <laughs> it's gonna take us a little while to get used to it. But it's okay, right? Sure, honey. We'll be okay. What is that? It's probably crickets outside, getting it on. <laughs> you would though. <laughs> the first nights at the house were magical. Everything was perfect. Hello? What's up, Kate? Hey, hon. What's going on tonight? Nothing much. How are you? Oh, you didn't have to do that. Wait, you have a boyfriend? Yeah, but he's been so mean. Don't worry, I love secrets. I won't tell him. Okay. I said it was Tommy, but I guess he's not here. No, he's at work. How's Tommy? Don't say that. It's great. It needs some renovations, but you guys are going to like it. That's so awesome. Hey, you're so ready to go. All right, we'll be there Saturday, okay? So get your things together. Okay, I will. Bye. Bye, Kate. All right, Paige. If you wanted to be a mother, let's do this. Hello? Hello? When did Cindy and Tommy appear in the story? They were on vacation with their grandmother. They moved in uh, a week or two after. <laughs> Come on. So, what do you think? It's nice here. I like it. Can you show me my room? Of course. Yeah. Here, I'll show you your room. It's so cute. You're gonna love it. I got you new sheets and I laid them out in the bed for you. Wow, this is cool.
play so well. I still need some practice, but I really love this piano. Let me show you to your room. Okay. So this is your room. It's small, but I think it's nice. It's nice. I like it. Hey, Paige. Yeah. Thank you for being so kind to me. Of course. So how was your grandma's house? Well, we did all sorts of things. We were on top of this tree, and we jumped off. It was a lot of did fun. Did you hurt yourself? Like last time? Yeah. Come on, you got this. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Go along. Hey, can I join you guys? Yeah, you know what? Come over here and take my place. I need a drink. Let's go, Mom. <laughs> think fast, think fast. All right, I'll try. Yep. <laughs> Tommy, here you go. <laughs> Come on. Good catch, good catch. Throw it back. All right, all right. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> you guys were playing without me? That's so messed Welcome up. Welcome home, guys. Yeah! yeah! Our new home. <laughs> so far, they haven't experienced any weird activities in the house. When exactly did that start? See, this is very different from any movie. If you move into a house infected by demons, don't expect to get approached by them on your first nights of the house. First they make you feel comfortable, then they attack. Then they attack. Then they attack. Richard. Richard. Hello? Okay. I was having a nightmare. The doorbell rang, 
I went to go answer it, and no one was there. I walked out and the door shut right behind me, leaving me out. What? And then I saw Cindy, Tommy, and you talking. And then what? I was looking right at myself. <laughs> Tommy, can I ask you something? Sure. Have you heard anything weird in our new house? No. When you go to bed, do you hear any unusual noises? No. What about you? Have you heard anything weird in our new house? Yeah. What did you hear? I hear my own, my own room door opening on its own at night. <laughs> Let's go home, Cindy. You're just trying to freak me out. I'm serious. I'm through with love. I'll never love again. Said I do to love. I'll never fall again. For I must have you. In the presence of Cindy, how did that make everything worse? Cindy was seeking to speak with her mother, so she brought this weird-looking Ouija board from her family's house. She thought the Ouija board was the easiest way to communicate with the dead. Nick, guess what I just brought? I'm serious. I brought a Ouija board from my grandma's house. Didn't you say you played it before? She could find no food at all. She looked here and there, but there was no food. Then she began to eat the corn. Being very hungry, she ate a great deal and went on eating and eating. The end. Good night, sweetie. What about Cindy's relationship with Paige? What about it? Did she accept her as a substitute to her mother? I have no comment on that. Mom, this is a safe place. Can we talk? <gasps> what are you doing in here? Go to your room. I can't sleep. Can I sleep with you? No, go sleep with Paige or something. I want to play. Don't touch this. If you don't let me play, I'm gonna tell Dad what you're doing with your boyfriend in my grandma's bed. You little ba- You're not gonna tell him anything because you didn't see anything. Yes, I did, but it's okay. I don't wanna play anymore. Okay, come on. <laughs> Put your fingers here and follow my lead. Okay. Having problems with the car again. Really? Yeah, I think it's overheating. We need a new car. Mom? Are you in this room? Holy shit, it's working. Wait, before I...
do that, I have to make sure it's mom. What is your name? Was she able to do it? Yes. She intended to communicate with her mother, but someone else answered. What? That's not mom. Who are you talking to? And why are you moving it? Lower your voice. I'm not moving it, the spirit is. What's a spirit? Morgan, why are you here? You want me out, out of where? Thank you for opening what door? You can't play a better trick, Cindy. What are you talking about? I'm going to bed. Your game sucks. Wait, don't leave. Bye, Cindy. <sighs> Fuck. I need a new car. God damn it! All right, I'm out. Where are you going? I get to work 20 long hours. What? Come give your dad a hug. Bye, Dad. Goodbye. Bye. Be good. I promise both of you. I will. I love you. Love you too. Can you give me some milk, please?
happened to the lights? They went out. There's a weird smell in my room. I'll be there in a second, honey. Let me just uh, find out why the lights went out. What's wrong? What's going on? Are you okay? Paige, talk to me. What happened? What? Honey, there's no one there. Okay. Get up. What? What, Paige? Oh, my God. There's no one there. There's no one on the bed. We'll go in the living room, okay? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! What the? Come on, Paige. What's going on? Okay. Go. Come on, you gotta get up, go! Go! Don't wanna be in that room anymore. Honey, where are we supposed to go? My mom's over two hours away. I don't care! I don't wanna be in this house anymore! How long have you been out here? I don't know. All morning. You look tired. Why don't you get some rest, okay? I called Father Joseph. What did he say? He's on his way. Come on. No! Oh. Hi, I'm Lisa, the next door neighbor. Oh, my name's Richard. This Hi. is my wife, Paige. So what can we do for you? Oh, I was just wanted to introduce myself. If you ever need anything, I'm five feet away. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah? What happened to the people that used to live here? Oh, they didn't last long. Do you know why? I don't know. They seem really nice people, though. But, I mean, you didn't hear any complaints or any weird activity, did you? Or... Why are you guys the CIA? Jesus, I'm oh, just no. a neighbor. I, I just thought... Never mind. 
Look, if you think there's any criminal activities around here, there isn't, okay? It's a really quiet neighborhood. You picked up a good place. Well, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Called in. Called in where? Called in the work. Told him I won't be back till Monday. Richard, why did you do that? We need the money. I don't know when I'm going to get unemployment. Honey, just for a couple days, we'll be fine. Father. Father, there's something here that shouldn't be. Where are you sensing this? The bedroom. I got it from here. Okay, Father. I'll be right. I'll be right there. In the name of the Father, and in the Son, and the, the Holy Spirit. When Christ took flesh through the blessed Virgin Mary, he made this his home with us. Walk me through the rest of the house, Richard. Do you want some coffee, Father? Sure. Richard, so explain to me what activities were occurring here. It started about the second night we moved in. Second night, what, what exactly happened? Well, Richard told me that I woke him up in the middle of the night saying that there was a woman crying outside. Do you remember such thing? No, not at all. And then I was out fixing my car and there's this woman in white. I must have looked and looked away because she was across the street and I couldn't see her face, but she was looking right at me. I don't know, Father. I would get up and move right now, but we can't afford it. Look, Paige, everything's gonna be okay. Just be strong. 
I gotta get going. I'm gonna leave you with something. Hang this somewhere around the house. It's blessed and they will keep any unwanted energy away from your home. Okay. I'm gonna get going. Father. Yes. There's something I didn't tell you. I found something strange. Something strange? Father, you should probably wait here. Richard, this is really terrible. What? I gotta go, Richard. W w why? What do you suggest I do, Father? Father! Who do those ashes belong to? It was Morgan Le Fay. After I did my research, I found out she was born in 1913, murdered by her second husband and his children by means of satanic practices. Although she was pregnant, Morgan once was forced to confess that her unborn child had been fathered by the devil. Year of 1983, she was executed inside her home. People have claimed they've seen the spirit of Morgan several times, crying, looking for her child. She thinks it was stolen from her. Sure. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. What happened? I have to go to work on Sunday. Why? The boss is going out of town, so I have to work my shift and his shift. Oh, that's good. Yeah.
there. Stay here, just stay here, okay? Wait here. <laughs> Paige! Paige! What are you doing out here? Paige! Guys, get back. Hello? What's going on? Hey, we're your neighbors, remember us? We need some help. Is everything okay? No, there's something strange over at our house. I can't okay. explain it. Coming in. Okay, thank you. Come on, go guys. <laughs> thank you so much. Can I get you some water? No. No, we're All okay. All right, thank you. There's something or someone in our house and it won't let us sleep. It's driving us crazy. Like an intruder? No, it's... It's something not human. I don't understand. Something happens every night. I saw the old woman again. This evil old woman. She won't leave us alone. Oh God. You need to call the cops. Did you guys hear the noises coming from? We heard them from all over. What happened to the electricity? All the bulbs go on and off on their own. <laughs> what was that? We hear that all the time before we go to sleep at night. Dad. Whoever's in there, come out! <laughs> Do you guys have a dead animal in there? She's here. Paige, keep the kids outside right now. Who's she? She's in your soul! Paige! Paige! Ah, I can't open the door! Get back! Get back! Look, folks, I'm sorry. I can't help you guys. But whatever you guys got going on inside your house, it overpasses the law. What I would do is I would contact the church. Thank you. How do you feel, honey? I'm good. Honey? We're gonna stay out here right now because I think it's in everybody's best interest to stay out here until someone from the church comes. I wanna go back inside. Honey, no. And if you're tired, we'll go to a hotel, okay? A hotel? We'll go to a hotel. No. 
I'm gonna go back inside. I'm gonna go back inside! <laughs> Tell me about the cop. He couldn't help them. He said that there was no crimes committed. So... So he refused to report it. Richard. Father. What's happening? I think the blessing that you put on our house didn't work. It can't be. I'm afraid she witnessed it too? We all did. Where's Paige? She's inside. Show me to her. Hi, Father. Let me explain to you guys what I believe is happening here. There are things going on in this world which are deliberately kept secret. This terrible problem you guys are suffering from is being caused by spirits. This kind of spirit which delights in tormenting people. It's not a ghost, but a spirit of a special order. First of all, before trying to figure out this situation, we need to find out its reason. Do any of you know what may have caused this problem in the house? No, Father, no. Paige. Stand up, Paige. I'm fine! Stand up, I'm trying to help you. Stand up, I'm just trying to help you. Look at me. Honey. Paige. Dad? I need you to back up over here, please. Dad? Paige. What's going on? Cindy, get back here. Can you hear me, Paige? Paige. Can you hear me, Paige? Can you hear me, Paige? Are you okay? Do you recognize him, Paige? Yes. Richard. 
I'm going to try to communicate with this entity or spirit or whatever we have here. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. Show yourself to me. I want to know why are you in this house? Do something. Who are you? Is that you? Give me another sign that you're here. In the name of Jesus Christ, reveal yourself to me. I'm scared. It's okay. I want to ask you a few questions. One knock for yes, two knocks for no. Are you a man? Are you a boy? Are you a woman? Do you want this family to move out? One knock for yes, two knocks for no. Oh my God, Dad, I can't. We okay, all right? Who is it that you don't like the most in this house? Is it Tommy? Is it Cindy? Is it their father? Is it their mother? So by this time, Paige was Morgan's target? I think everyone in the house was the target. What about the demon? The one with the white face? He was the worst of all. He was so hateful. He's attached to Cindy. Stressed? What do you think? How is she doing? I gave her two extra sleeping pills, so she she should be asleep by now. You know, Richard, I've worked on these kind of cases before, and I never have I have I witnessed anything like this before, Richard. This is definitely one for the books right here. Father, I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Have faith, Richard. Everything's going to be okay. I, I look at Paige. I see everything she's been through. And I and I can't help but feel like it's my fault. Don't let this get to you, Richard. That's what the devil wants. He wants to break you emotionally. He wants you to be scared. He wants you to feel just like you're feeling right now, Richard. Your family's in danger, Richard. You're the only hope they got. Don't let the evil take over her. What do you mean, take over? Dad! Dad! Yes? Thank you, thank you. What do we do? What do we do? 
Let's go get the neighbors. Okay. Tie her up! Tie her up! Pop okay. the tree! I need you to hold her down! Paige, are you there? Oh, stop. Hold on. Paige! Paige, are you there? <laughs> In the name of the... And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit! <laughs> Container Richard right now! Father. Scare principle of the universe. Infinite are your powers. Absolute is your science. Grant me the power to reflect your divine will. Grant of me, Divine Father, the delegation of having power over malevolent spirits. Make me absolute, Lord, a vehicle of your infinite love to those who deserve it. Hello. Do you know what this is right here? Do you know what this is right here? It's your ashes. These are your ashes, right? These are your ashes. Those are my ashes. You liar! Who are you? What do we call you? What do we call you? These are your ashes. Now it's time for you to go. You have no reason here. If I go, I'm taking her with me. You fat, filthy bastard! You're dead. You don't belong here. Father, help me. Father, help me. Please. 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 Talk to me. Paige, talk to me. Oh, Father. You better leave! Where is Paige? What do you want with her? Her energy. Her energy? Why do you want her energy? Why do you want her energy? Paige, if you're still here, say my name. If you're still here, say my name. Oh, Paige is not here. <laughs> Are you? You understand that you don't belong here, right, Morgan? I'm invisible. How could I get rid of you? By praying. <laughs> Pray to who? LUCIFER! In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit! My Father, please give me the strength to defeat this monster! Be strong, Richard, you're just playing games! Most glorious prince of the heavenly armies! St. Michael, the Archangel! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit! Santo Dios, líbranos de los demonios! Santo Dios, líbranos de los demonios! Santo Dios, líbranos de los demonios! In the name of Jesus Christ!
So after Paige's death, do you have any idea exactly what happened to Cindy and Tommy? Cindy knew something wasn't right with Richard. They say that you can see the evil in his eyes. It was nighttime, and they were driving down Route 66. Richard made a hard stop. He pointed the gun at Tommy's head and shot him. Cindy ran out of the car, and Richard shot himself in the head. And I'm pretty sure you know what happened after that. Impressive story. Thank you for sharing it. Sure. I gotta go. Wait. What? This is a great story. But how do we know that you're telling us the truth? And how is it that you know so much about this family? I told you guys the story. Just how you wanted it. Now it's up to you guys to decide if you'll believe me or not. One last question. This demon that was haunting Cindy, did she ever get rid of it?
I'll take your hand, I'll give you faith, I'll never let you 